So, have you ever had one or more corrupted audio files that simply will not load into any audio software? And they're from a critical project and you're like living in a world of hurt and wondering what on earth am I going to do? Well, um, I faced this problem over the weekend and I just want to give you a heads up about an online file repair and recovery service that I discovered. Um, and, you know, files don't get corrupted like this very often. But if it happens to you and it's for a critical project, then you should bookmark these people because maybe they'll save your bacon like they saved mine this weekend. And the website and company that I found is this, Treasured Video Repair Service. Okay, these are file repair experts. And it's not a software. You work with an actual technician over the internet. Okay, they've been going for a long time. They've worked with loads of independent people. They work with big companies as well. You do pay for the repair, um, but you get a full watermarked preview for you to try out first to make sure everything's all right before you commit to paying. The price is very reasonable. As I said, the fix is done by an actual human being, by an engineer over the internet. Uh, it's not a piece of software. Um, and it's genuine, so you're not going to get ripped off. Now, just to show you the problem I had, um, here's a song. And... Um, these are all the individual tracks for this song and and when this is part of a multi-track session that I recorded last Thursday okay each of these is a song with 16 tracks and when Logic did the final save at the end and I did a backup where it copied all the audio from the different songs to a copy backup location and saved everything it corrupted the two files for the two tracks here for the bass for this song every single song's got two bass tracks with two bass files per recording so there's a, a DI bass and a, and a microphone on the cabinet bass. DI bass, microphone on the cabinet bass. But this one, the two bass files got corrupted when it did the backup. And it's really weird because, like, here's the original recording. It's time stamped at 17.07. Uh, that was done on Thursday. And there's the original two bass track files, bass 26 and 27, right? And if you bring those onto the timeline... Um, it just says they don't exist the file base 26 doesn't exist base 27 doesn't exist but they do exist clearly they're, they're on the disc here but even more weird at that exact timestamp of 1707 for the recording of this song and only this song Logic when it did the backup it created two additional base files with the random title of base 3 and base 4 and if you take these and drag them onto the multi-track area, it it appears like they're working. Oh, look, two two tracks with the waveform, they're the right length. These must be sort of copies. Something went wrong, Logic made a copy. But actually, if you play these, they're a waveform container with a, with a waveform drawn, but there's no content. If you go and look in Logic's file edit or any other uh, visualization for the audio, from another bit of software it just looked along the file and it's just a blank zero nothing empty right so i was like what am i going to do so on sunday i started looking around on the internet for some bit of software that could do it and i just you know it's the usual thing i ended up going down endless rabbit holes uh, and s s nothing worked it's all just nonsense right all these so-called softwares that are going to do your fix they 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 won't and then i discovered these guys and it really, really works. Now, what they do is they have an app. You download the app, and there it is. You don't need to install the app. You simply run it, and it's like a support uh, piece of software, like as if you're getting server support from a server company or something. You run the app. You put in your name. You put in your email address. It asks you a few other questions, including you get the option to check a tick box that says, I'm willing to pay a little bit more for a 24 hour service. And once you've established your um, technical support file fix um, instance, you then upload the problem files. And then a, a real live human technician at the other end picks up those files and begins to analyze them. Right? There's a full email chain that you can email between yourself and the technician through this interface, but it also backs up to your email box. There's a chat where you can chat to the technician who's working on your file. 
uh, over different things about different things right um, and basically the file engineer the file technician analyzes the file figure out what's wrong with it and then the they what they do is they create a repair procedure for it which is loaded into the app and then you run that repair procedure on the file on your local machine and do the repair at your end via the app and so I went to the first file here I ran the repair and after you've done the repair you get a full length preview. This is the entire length of the file, five minutes, 51 seconds. You get a full preview, but it has a beep watermark all the way along it. That's the first one. And the second one, base 27, I ran the repair on this. And again, I get a full length preview with a watermark. Yeah, and it's done. Now you you preview um, the file with the with the watermark beep built in, and then if it, everything's good, you just click remove watermark. That takes you to the payment page. You pay, and then as soon as you've paid, the file comes back fully fixed, but without the watermark. However, and so they 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 did it with both of them, and I was like, oh my god, that's the files. However, there's one thing: both of the files, the repaired file. Uh, both of them were playing back at a slower speed and a lower pitch, which to me sounded like they were playing back at 44.1 instead of 48k. The files that I uploaded were 48k audio files. The technician knew they were 48k files, and I said to him, well, these are playing back too slow and at a lower pitch. It, it sounds exactly like they're being played back at 44.1. And he said, let me go off and uh, check and see, get a fix for that. And I said, okay. And uh, while he was off looking for a fix for that um, to, to work within the dialogue of this this repair system here, I I'd looked at it, I thought, well, this is clearly a 48K file playing back at 44.1. And here's the interesting thing. Although I uploaded audio files to AIF files, the fixed repaired files that came back to me were in a .mov, .mov movie container, which contained only the audio um, f file. So what I did while the engineer was looking for a way to fix it through the app here is I made a new project in Logic set to a sample rate of 44.1 and then I opened the MOV file with the audio fix in it via the open movie dialog in Logic. And that opened the .mov file, extracted the only contents in that .mov container, which was the audio track, put it onto um, a track on Logic and then I went to the project settings and changed the audio settings to 48k and instantly the file went boop and, and it um, then started playing back at the right speed and the right pitch and then I simply bounced off an audio copy. I checked everything was correct for that and it was and then I told the engineer over the chat on the app, I said look I've found the fix my end so I'll just pay now for the files. I paid uh, and then within a couple of minutes the files came back full length fixed without the watermark and I just put each one into Logic did that conversion to 48k and they were 100 percent absolutely amazing and now if i go here here's the repaired files uh where is it there we go base 26 and 27 fixed put them in and and there they are fully fixed man unbelievable stuff and i was like so so happy um, here they are. This file is the one, this is the mic on the cabinet. You can just hear spillage from the other instruments. And this is the DI version. That's it, and they fixed it, 100%. And I paid for both files, five minutes, 50 seconds long each, I paid 69 British pounds, including VAT tax for the two. That's 35 pounds per file. 
And I'm telling you, it was really good value for money. And they did the fix easily within 24 hours. I paid a little bit more for a, for a fast service, right? But they fixed it within a couple of hours. I, I started dialoguing. I, I discovered this um, service on Sunday evening. And I set the I set the um, the support ticket up on Sunday evening, and a technician started dialoguing with me, and I I said right, I'm going to just like go to bed now, and I'll come back on tomorrow morning on Monday. And I came back in the morning and and uh, went back to the system and started dialoguing with the engineer again, and uh, they fixed it by twelve noon. It was all done by twelve noon, so it, it literally took just a couple of hours, and I had the files back hundred percent, and that was such a godsend to me. I mean. Thirty-five pounds per file, but to me that saved me way more than that in time, because if I had not been able to resurrect these two files for this song, then I would have had to bring the bass player from the band to my home studio, and then they'd have to record the bass along to the track and try and get the recording correct for the timing of the music and, and everything like that. That would have been that not easy because it's a sort of freeform, jazzy, slightly kind of vibe with that. It's not some rock track played to a click or, or even like a really solid easy rock track with a very defined sort of beat or anything like that so i'd have had to get the bass player to come all the way down here and record it would have taken at least half a day of my time even if they could get the recording down i'd only have the di version of the bass i could never reproduce the sound of the amp in the studio the mic'd up amp and cabinet so I wouldn't have the mic'd up amp and cabinet sound for this song which means I couldn't use it for any of the other songs because then there'd be that this song would sound different to the others and it if I had to ask the bass player to come in and redo the bass it would make me look bad in for the client so this way I can now just totally focus on getting the singer to come in getting the singer uh, the vocal session organized so we can get the vocals down and then get the mixing done and the mastering and and finish the project and and Trust me, it was easily worth £35 for each of the files for that. So there you go. Treasured Video Repair Service. Oh, I thought they did an amazing job. I'd like to thank Javier, the guy that did my particular uh, session and fixed my files for me. Thank you very much. Um, I'm not being paid for this. I'm not sponsored by them. I didn't even get a discount, nothing. I'm just saying this is a genuine, really good file repair service. They specialise in media files, audio and video, etc., um, so bookmark them and one day um, as I said you know they might save your bacon like they saved mine over the weekend okay right guys I hope that's uh, useful I'll see you for more videos soon